Hey there, Meredith Cave Diver here, except that I'm not in Merida today. I'm actually in my home office in Texas, but Orca Torch has graciously sent me another light for them to test. So we're gonna do the unboxing here, then I'm gonna fly to Mexico and I'm gonna test this thing for you. So today I'm looking at the D910B, a max 5000 lumen light dedicated for filming, which I am extremely excited to test because I don't have a dedicated filming light for my videos. And we're gonna see what's in this box. So you have the extra O-ring for the light, you have the user manual, you have uh, promo material, some extra O-rings, the charger cable, the magnetic charger, which is very cool. I'll talk about that later in the video. And the adapter, the warranty card, some extra screws and an Allen wrench. And then you have the light itself with the ball handle. One thing that I think is very important is that inside these lights, there's often a uh, plastic protection. So if you try and turn them on, it's not gonna turn on right away. So that might throw you. But with that being said, let's fly to Mexico and let's get this thing tested for you. Okay, so here we are in Mexico and we're gonna start diving. Okay, so as we shift into the dive footage, I wanna call out a couple things about the D910V. Uh, one of the things that you're gonna notice as we go through is that the cavern is really, really lit up very, very well. And that's really due to the 120 degree lens. I've uh, tried to dive in some black caves and some white caves to give you a full perspective on what I see. And quite honestly, the video is, is good, but it, it really doesn't do it justice. Uh, these are some massive caverns and the 5,000 lumens uh, plus 120 degree angle really lights these things up like I've never seen before. So I was very impressed with it. The D910V has three brightness levels. The first one is 5,000 lumens and it'll last for around 50 minutes. The second one has 2,000 lumens. It'll last for around two hours and 10 minutes. And the third one has 500 lumens. And it'll last for around eight hours and 50 minutes. During my dives, I went anywhere from 20 meters all the way to 65 meters, and the depth rating on this light is 150 meters. The overall charging time is about 2.5 hours, and I have to say, it's probably the easiest light to charge uh, due to the magnetic charging port on the back. And when you are charging the light, it'll change from red to green, but there's an auto shut off feature as well. When you're using the D910V, there's an easy to use power switch, and there's an LED light just above it. It's gonna stay on green as long as the light is charged to over 70%. It'll change to orange when it's between 70 and 30%, and then it'll change to a solid red when it's less than 30%, and it'll change to a blinking red when it's less than 10%. Okay, so I've probably put about 10 dives on the D910V and uh, the footage you saw was uh, of us diving. And I have to say, uh, final thoughts on this light, I love it. I really love it. Uh, there's so many good things about it. The first thing I noticed when I turned it on was the warm light color. And I didn't tweak any of my videos for color correction, so what you're seeing is what you're seeing. Um, truthfully, the videos turned out to be a little too blue, so when I do dive videos, I probably would edit them a bit, but I found that the light color was beautiful, and um, I also have my camera set to, I think, 5700 Kelvin, which I think is the same as this light. The uh, wide beam, wow, uh, I thought I had a good uh, cave light, but the 120 degree wide beam really, really opens this up. And if you have the luxury of diving in clear water, uh, this light does a really, really great job of lighting up the caverns and uh, showing the expanse of these things, which by the way, are absolutely huge down here. Um, I am very curious to try the big brother of this light and um, 
hopefully I'll have a review coming up. But right now, I highly recommend this light. I think it's uh, a phenomenal piece of kit. If you are diving in water that is of poor quality, uh, visibility is, is a bit of an issue, you're gonna have a very hard time because this light has such a wide angle. However, uh, crystal clear light or photography or getting right up on close and things, I, I thought it was ideal. The other thing I really enjoyed was the different lighting modes. I didn't think I would use them, but actually when I was playing around with the video, I really used it a lot, a lot more than I thought I would, and I can see myself using it in the future. The one thing I do want to call attention to is on multiple dives, around the 40 minute mark, whether or not I was using this continuous or on and off, around the 40 minute mark, the LED on the top was red, the light would suddenly shift into only two lighting modes. The first press would give me a nice high beam, the second press, nothing would happen. The third press, it would go to what's looked at as the medium setting. And then the fourth press would turn the light off. I did uh, go back and forth with Orca Torch on this and shared with them what I did. I did a couple tests in my pool to, to simulate the, uh, the issue. And uh, Orca, told, Orca Torch told me that that's what's expected to occur. So it is normal behavior. I'd be very curious um, if anyone watching this video has this light and you have had the same experiences as me, uh, 40 minutes, the light shifts down to two modes only. The other thing that I really, really enjoyed about this light that I didn't think I would was the charging. It is so nice to pull the light out of the case, go to the wall and just pop it on the back end without having to disassemble anything. Uh, I really have to say I enjoyed this light immensely. Most likely for me and my type of diving, because I don't use a camera tray, I'll change this to a Goodman handle. But other than that, uh, phenomenal light, and I would highly recommend it for you. I hope this helps.